Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at a highly anticipated film, at least for me, and it's called... American Hustle. Yeah, you've got the poster right there. <laughs> anyway, American Hustle. Hmm, how to sum up the plot? Kind of complicated because it's a complicated script, but I'll do my best. David O. Russell, director, who also directed Silver Linings Playbook, The Fighter, as well as Three Kings, gives us the story of Irving Rosenfield. He's a, uh, a con artist who's been hustling people and making his living like that, as well as doing some other shady dealings with art and such. Uh, you know, and he's doing all right for himself. Not exactly big time, but not exactly small time either, but having a good time making money and hustling people and just doing, you know, staying under the radar until he meets uh, Sidney Prosser and Sidney Prosser suddenly ends up making him even more money and soon he's starting to fall for Miss Sidney Prosser which doesn't sit too well with Irving's wife Rosalind <laughs> and he's just trying to also be a good dad with his kid who he had with Rosalind and trying to keep Rosalind from narking him out to anybody because she's aware of what business he does. Well when things go awry and they uh, Irving and Sidney end up getting tied up with Richie Damasio, who's an FBI agent, things start to escalate way too much for Irving, and he starts to try to uh, weigh exactly how, what, how much is worth hustling someone. And pretty soon, though, the situation gets so dire that he's hustling not just to make money, but he's hustling to try to get his people that he loves out of this situation with everybody's necks intact. Uh, that's about the best way I could sum it up. I mean, there's more to this film, but uh, that, that's kind of the basic premise. Now, it's set all in the 70s, which is kind of fun. They do great of trying to capture the 70s feel with the cars and the clothing and everything about it. Uh, and, and they make you really feel like this is a 70s sh uh, movie, down to the old-style Columbia opening. Uh, you know, the film production film uh, uh, openings they have? They have the old school Columbia opening as well as uh, a couple other company uh, retro type of feel to their opening. So they definitely wanted this to feel like a 70s film, which it does. Uh, not only that, though, uh, Christian Bale, he plays Irving Rossenfield. You won't recognize him hardly at all. He's got a horrible comb over and he's got about 80 pounds and... He's a great character actor, and he just owns this role. He's just fantastic in this in his, in this performance of this guy who's really just trying to figure things out and getting in uh, feels like he's getting it over in his head and doesn't like when he doesn't have control of things. So I uh, definitely enjoyed his character, who also has a softer side. So he's doing these things, but he's also got kind of a soft side to him, and he's just trying to survive. Who's also trying to survive, though, is Amy, Amy Adams' character, Sidney Prosser. Oh, my God, Amy Adams. This is a very mature role for her, okay? We have not seen her in a role like this, and she shows more than she did in Psycho Beach Party, let me tell you, folks. But she does an absolute fantastic performance in here. Uh, just owns every scene she's in. Her and Jennifer Lawrence, who's playing Rosalind Rose Rosenfield, Irving's wife, those two, I swear, almost steal every scene they're in. They own the show. They really put their all into these roles that they had. And uh, Amy Adams' character has this thing where her character does another persona and she kicks into this British accent, which is really well done. But there's times a little bit where it slips. And at first I kind of thought it was intentional. Then I realized it wasn't if you pay attention to the way the dialogue is. The way the dialogue's going on, it's her being truthful and then being the character and sliding in and out of that within a conversation with someone. And I think that was intentional. I'd like to think so because it was really fitting for what she was saying. So you got some great moments like that in there. And Jennifer Lawrence, you will not recognize her the first time you see her on screen. Definitely not your Katniss by any means. And the role she's in, she, she, everybody does great, some great character acting. In fact, probably the weakest role in here, though, is Bradley Cooper. Uh, Bradley Cooper really, he gets outacted in every scene by these other great performers. And, and that's not to say his performance is bad by any means. It's just compared to everybody else in the scene, uh, his is kind of the weakest. What is also kind of weak is actually the story. Now, it does pick up at the end, but the first part where we're getting and into it okay and then it kind of tapers off a little bit and it kind of 
slows down a little bit and I'm like okay and then it picked back up and got really solid at the end so it finishes strong though you kind of got to wade through uh, a little bit of muck and some plot holes uh, but in the end it finishes strong it's definitely more of a character piece than it is the story okay that's what you should take away from this also look for Jeremy Renner playing a uh, fantastic the politician who's the good guy who doesn't want to do bad things but realizes that might be his only option and for those of you who enjoy Clue as well as a number of other fantastic films look for Colleen Camp making an appearance in here in a small role American Hustle is directed great David O. Russell still showing that he's got some great directing chops uh, and he's got a great pedigree and he brings that talent here it just a talented film made by talented folks and owning their characters and let me tell you Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence if one of those two do not get an Academy nomination out of this film then there's something really wrong with the system folks I did give American Hustle four stubs if it wasn't for some of the weaker points in the story I would have gave it a full five but the story was lacking a bit but the great performances by everyone on front of the camera makes you realize that this <laughs> makes you not care so much about the story and just care about the characters and it bask in the great performances that these actors uh, put on screen. Check out American Hustle, folks. I'm not hustling you. I'm just telling you the truth, uh, though uh, the people in the movie may not. So until next time, folks, remember, keep that ticket stop.